We were back in California in January or February of 57, correct? Yes, that's true. When you came back, did you go back to work for uh, Burt Goodrich's gym or American Health Studios? Uh, Burt Goodrich's gym. How long between then and the time that you went to Italy? I went to Italy the first part of June. So I worked for American Health Studios, we'll say, from, uh, uh, from about March, April, and May, for three months. How'd you get the job with American Health Studios? A friend of mine got a job with him as a salesman, and he said, I think there's a job there for you, too, if you would like one. And I said, okay. He said, so I got a job there as PR. But what I would do is, when it opened up a new gym, I'd go there and take a picture with Miss Riverside and the Mayor Riverside cutting a ribbon. And then I'd hang around the gym for about two or three days and talk to the customers as they come in and sign up and all that. I wouldn't sign anybody up. I'd just be there to, to talk to them and things like that. And and then I'd go to another in their gyms for a while, just hang around, let, just talk, people could talk to me and ask about instructions and things like that, about bodybuilding. And then he'd open another one and I'd go there and do the same thing. And that's, that was my job. You don't remember whereabouts in L.A. it was at the time? No, in other words, he had several different studios all over the place. Yeah, but did, where did was he headquartered out of you, remember? It was some place I could go. It was either Hollywood or, or the Valley there, one of the, one of the two. Uh, uh, when you came back into uh, the Hollywood, mm-hmm. when you brought your Carmen Gia back with you, right? That's true, yes. Okay. When I, when I got back from making the picture, I still had it. When I went away the second time, I sold it. Yeah. Where would you keep it at? But the money from I got from the first picture, I put a down payment on the place there in, in uh, Valley Center. Right. And my mother and stepfather moved down. But but that, that was after a wow. while. I, I kept it in Oakland at my, my place. Oh, did you place, keep right. it moved? I kept okay. it in Oakland. And then when, they, uh, when I bought the place and they moved down here, they brought it down with oh. them. And I actually sold it in Oceanside. Okay. Uh-huh. Do you have any pictures of your uh, coming here? I don't know. Uh, there you I don't know. Anyway, it was the first one to be imported into the United States. It came into uh, Miami there and uh, was put in the showroom, and I went there, and the guy sold it to me, and I took a picture with him, the keys, like like Sandra said in the letter. Right. Thing, right. When you came back here, were you thinking about going back into films again, or were you got back to the Hollywood area working oh, at yeah. the gym? Oh, or? sure, sure. I, I, I always thought of that. that when I was in the uh, L.A. area before, you know, Santa Monica, Hollywood, it was always a, a part once in a while, a, you know, a cameo part on, we'll say, Red Skelton or, or some other show to do every once in a while, maybe once a month or so. So uh, I thought, well, I'll, I'll just work in Goodrich's gym and, and do those parts on the side, and maybe someday I'll get a break. Did you have a, um, a, a manager at the time? Uh, agent? An agent? At that time, no. I, I had had one in the past, but at that time I didn't have one. The story goes is that the uh, producer's daughter sees you in Athena in a theater in Rome. Exactly. And she grabs her dad, takes her dad down there, says, right. hey, here's your next Hercules. Right, because he, he was looking for a guy for five years. He couldn't find the right person. So he had written the script. He had the script lying there looking for a guy for five years. So when, when he uh, saw me, he took the uh, producers there and said, hey, put your money behind this guy. You know, I, I have the script. I'm the director. And... Uh, he, he was the kind of, he was kind of the Cesar de Villa of Italy at the time, you know what I mean? Big, vast productions, you know, big time, big scene. So he was a director, basically. Yeah, he, he was the director. Ryan Cici was, was the director, director, who also wrote the script. But he was the director, like I say, he, he was the Cesar de Villa of, of Italy. He did all of the big, epic type pictures. Right. You got a letter uh, from him, right? Yes. Uh, I think it was uh, addressed to Goodrich's gym. The, and then Goodrich knew where I was because I had left a forwarding address there. I only lived, I still only lived for about maybe six blocks from his gym. And I was going out and working. I think I was working in, in uh, let's see, in, uh, Universal City or something like that. It's where I, I hung out most of the time between uh, signing uh, pictures for people and uh, opening up new places. So I was kind of set out there in, I think it was Universal City. The letter said that uh, uh, my name is, my name was, was uh, 
script about Hercules, and uh, I've been trying to find somebody for five years. I think you're the man. Uh, I hope you're interested. And uh, that, that, if you are, uh, contact me. So I, I didn't contact him because I had promised Ray Wilson that I was out of show business, that I was going to devote my time strictly to his enterprise there. And uh, so I didn't answer. Then a couple weeks later, there was a, a telegram. And, no, I, I, actually, uh, first of all, a, a telegram arrived. A telegram arrived to me saying, we want you for Hercules. So I ignored it. And then two weeks later, a letter arrived with a few thousand bucks and an airplane ticket to Rome. <laughs> stated like June 12th or something like that. So I thought, well, these people are serious. I either have to send them back the money and the plane tickets or go over there and take a chance. I said, I'm going to overtake a chance. So I, I started growing my goatee and mustache and things like that. That was at that, that time when you were doing those promotions over there at the exactly. hotel and stuff. Yeah, that's right. So you, you left out of uh, LA, LAX probably, right? Right, right. And uh, to New York, then to Rome. And then they had everything, were they waiting for you when you got there? Oh, yeah. At the airport, they had an uh, interpreter for me, and they had arranged a hotel. In, in uh, Rome there, there's two places where actors usually stay when they're uh, doing pictures, or if they live there permanently, you know, even if they're in between pictures. One's called the American Palace, one's called the Resident Palace. They put me up in the uh, American Palace, it has a little restaurant downtown, and it has a small apartment uh, for you. It isn't like a hotel room. It's like a, it's like, a like a condo or something. Oh, is that right? A restaurant down below. So they, they put me up there. They gave me an interpreter. I think it was very disconcerting when I first got there. I mean, other than the language barrier, was that uh, there are hours of working. I mean, they they work from eight to twelve, then they take off from twelve to four. And then they start working again from 4 to 8. Well, you know, from, uh, from, from 12 to 4, I might want to go to, to the store and, and buy uh, some uh, stationery or, or a pen or, 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 or something, and you just can't buy anything. You know, they take off during the heat of the day, I guess. Oh, everybody does. Everybody does. All, all the businesses close. 